you're watching a free sample video from Teachers Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Natural resources. Natural resources are um, things that come from the land. Um, and remember, land is one of our factors of production that we talk about in economics. Um, so timber that grows on the land, um, minerals, oil, things that are extracted from the land, um, water that's in the land, um, all of these are considered natural resources. Um, and these are things that we uh, use as inputs uh, to the production process to produce the outputs we want, consumer goods or capital goods. Capital goods meaning goods that are used to produce other goods. Um, because human population is growing dramatically and has been growing dramatically for many years, um, the uh, scarcity of resources is increasing. Um, because there's more people needing these resources, but there's a finite amount of these resources on Earth. Um, so it becomes increasingly important that we look at renewable resources, resources that, um, that can be replaced uh, at the same at rate as consumption or faster. Um, so when we talk about natural resources, some of these things, there's no danger of being exhausted. For example, solar uh, or wind. The sun, if you have solar panels that you're using to harvest uh, solar energy, that's not really depleting the amount of solar energy that's available. If somebody else has solar panels on the house next door, the amount of solar energy you collect on your roof doesn't really affect the amount they collect on their roof. Um, so solar power is not uh, at risk of really being depleted. Um, other things are still renewable, um, but we have to really um, protect and replace actively in order to keep them renewable. Um, so example would be crops that are being grown or trees, right? Um, if we need timber, we could go clear cut a forest and destroy it. Um, and reduce the number of trees available. Or within a sustainable timber industry, there's certain types of trees that are planted in certain areas and they're harvested at a rate um, that's lesser or equal to the growth of the replacement trees. So there's always the same, roughly the same number of trees available for harvesting. We're not um, destroying the overall amount of trees. Um, so that would be an example of something that needs protection and replacement in order to be done in a renewable way. Um, but the basic idea um, is renewable resources can be potentially replaced, um, whereas non-renewable resources just can't be. Um, so things like fossil fuels, um, like oil and coal, um, once it's harvested and once it's utilized, um, it's gone. We can't replace that. It's not renewable. Um, also, metals and certain non-metals, things like iron and copper ore, once we mine all the iron and copper ore in an area, um, there's a finite amount of that on Earth. Once we've mined it all, um, that's it. You can't recreate more. Um, and non-metals that are used in production, like graphite or gemstones, like rubies that are used, um, all of these things are non-renewable. There's really a finite supply. Um, but often with non-renewable resources, um, there's still ways to address um, trying to use these in a way that makes sense. For example, um, things like metals can be recycled. So even though we can't get more of those metals out of the ground once we've extracted them all, we can not waste the metals that we have. So once the uh, aluminum can has been used, the aluminum can be recycled and made into another can. Um, and another ex uh, way in which we can deal with the issue of non-renewable resources is by finding substitutes for things. Um, so an example of this is plastic pipe instead of copper pipe. Um, years ago, pretty much most of the pipe that was used in building um, was made from some kind of metal. Um, but now often um, PVC pipe, polyvinyl chloride, a type of plastic pipe is used in many uh, agricultural and other instances. Um, so this type of pipe could replace the other kind of pipe as the scarce metals are being used for other types of industrial needs. Um, so there's many ways in which societies 
can look at their use of resources and try to balance it, this in a way that's good for industries as well as good for human beings and the environment in a long-term way. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.